The Labor Party in Queensland is in for an anxious wait over the results of the Ipswich West by-election, indicating there'll be a massive swing to the LNP. The seat southwest of Brisbane had been safe for Labor, but results so far indicate the party's candidate is struggling to hold on. Queensland opposition leader David Chrysofulli was urging the voters of Ipswich West to register a loud protest vote against the Miles government and their response so far has been deafening. At one stage tonight, the Labor candidate, Wendy Bourne, was leading the LNP's Darren Zanow by just one vote, with 22% of the ballots counted. The result could be a catastrophic vote of no confidence in new Labor Premier Stephen Miles, who replaced three-time election winner Anastasia Palaszczuk in December. So far, in Ipswich West, Labor has 25.1% of the primary vote, five points ahead of the LNP, but it's hoping preferences from One Nation will close the gap to promise what could be a boil-over that will hardly fare well for the survival of the Miles government in the October state election. And as expected in the seat of Inala, vacated by former Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, will be retained by Labor, but the government looks set to suffer another major swing to the LNP.